Hello, everyone, Randy here, and we're playing Train Mechanic Simulator 2017. And we're on to the steam locomotives here this episode. Job number one for the steam locomotives. We finished up 13, number 13 there for the electric locomotives last episode. Won't find any sophisticated technology or the smell of fuel. Well, you still have coal, though, so that, uh... Kind of has a smell. Uh, here you will look into the simple and brutal power, or brutal and simple power generated for a steam engine. Repair the brake calipers. Okay, so I guess that's our first job. Okay. Get to work. So, a brake caliper is probably under here somewhere, I'm assuming. Take a quick uh, look. Ooh, let's, uh, let's take a look up here a minute. Cab. We got uh, quite a few uh, bits and pieces we can take apart here. Interesting. Like a lot of lines and stuff on here. Well, it looks like it'd be fun if you had to, like, uh, say, replace the whole boiler here. Uh, what else do we have? We got the front. Yes, that looks exciting. Okay, anyway. Uh, brake calipers. Where would one find brake calipers? Ooh, brake caliper. One right there. Uh, another one right there. Oh, wait. Did I see another one there? Yes, but that one appears to be good. It appears to be good on that side as well. It said there was three pieces, right? Double check that here in a minute. Yeah, so those all appear to be good. Okay, so are we looking for one more part yet? Yes, we are. Uh, it just says brake calipers. Uh, are there more brake calipers on here? Oh, there is. Okay. Got some in the back yet here. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. And we'll see if we can repair those. Electric? Nope, that's not going to help us. Ooh, 100% on all of them. Good. Too bad we don't have, like, the repair all function here or something. Uh, this game, by the way, I don't know if I've mentioned this before. Uh, the makers of Car Mechanic Simulator and the makers of this game... Uh, they are two separate developers. They are different. So they're not the same developer behind each one. Um, it's just Playway sells both of those, basically. They're the publisher, I believe, is how that works out. I believe uh, Pay Playway is the uh, publisher. Uh, is it, what, Red Dot? I think it's Car Mechanic Simulator. So there you be the developer there for Car Mechanic Simulator. Income, wow, $50. Okay, getting rich quick here. wonder what the point of this is supposed to be. Damage steam engine. Uh, vicinity of the... Oh, so we're going to have to go find this one, aren't we? The Great Lakes region. They don't bother uh, telling us which uh, square anymore. Just got to look in the Great Lakes region. Where would one find the Great Lakes region? Ah, down this away uh, somewhere about. Okay, so looks. Oh, 
Like we have a perfect straight pass here. Might have to switch this one. We'll have to see once there. Looks like this is kind of considered a Great Lakes region here as well. Okay, full speed ahead. That's quite the uh, slope there for a train to go up. Okay, so we'll keep our eyes peeled here. Like I said, we might have to switch uh, one more junction here yet, depending on which way we want to go. Let's see, not seeing anything yet. Oh, wait. Uh, this might be it over here. Yeah, we're we heading in the right direction. No, we are not. We need to switch the one we just went past here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. It's like really dark here. Oh, is this not the right one either? Uh, maybe not. That is the train there, though. Ah, uh, okay, it's on this track here. Okay. We just need to get past here, then we'll back up. I guess we could have gone the other way then, too, I'm assuming. Okay, and I guess it doesn't really matter which way we go here. Okay, how's that looking? That looks like that'll actually get us about where we want to go. Okay. Full speed to the rear. I'll have to keep an eye on the route once we get up here. Oh, actually, looks like we might be good. We'll find out. And are we looking good? No. We are going to have to switch the South Steam Locomotive Depot there. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. Like I said before, it's weird how the green here shows it's going this way. But then this line here actually shows you going, you know, that way. So you do want to keep an eye on this orange line because that is actually where you're going to go. Even though the green line, you know, shows it like you should be going the opposite way. Okay, appears the wheels in the front truck have become damaged and replaced the front blade. 
Okay. Well, in the case of these trains, should be pretty obvious to, uh, to tell which was the front and the rear. We'll take the front blade off. That's easy enough. I guess that's not quite the right order. They said the front wheels. Actually, we're not too away from too far away from the front wheels here. Like all four. Well, that wasn't too hard then. Okay, let's uh, repair these here a moment. At least try to anyway. Ooh, another hundred percent on across the board. And some assembly. Okay, there we go. That definitely wasn't too hard. I'm just assuming here maybe once we get to, say, jobs 14 through 25, maybe the jobs will get a little bit harder. But at least so far on all the jobs we've done, both the diesels and the electrics, jobs 1 through 13 have been fairly simple, I would say. Okay, job number three, wheel servicing. And check the brake calipers. Okay. Wow, I see some bad wheels. Okay. So, what do we have to do to get uh, the wheels off here? Okay, looks like that'll do it for this side. Okay, we got something over here we got to take out. Well, I thought I'd just uh, took the brake calipers right off there last time. Uh, oh, we, do we have... Ah, uh, there we go. Brake lever. We need to take that off, I guess. We can take that off. Okay, and there wasn't any brake pads on this side, was there? Well, there is brake pads, but I mean no bad ones from the looks of it. Okay, chance to repair, 100%. Let's see how we do here. Everything's looking pretty good so far. Okay, there we go. Oh, I think that was actually the opposite side. Oh, I guess that works. Is that everything on this side? Looks like it.
Oh, okay. Switch the view up here. Oh, uh, I can't, still can't get to it. Uh, I can not get to this piece down here. There we go. Some lever thing down there we go. On this end here. Uh, do we not? The train is missing parts. Okay, what do I have left? I have a small connector and a connecting rod. Okay, that must be from back here yet a bit, isn't it? Not this side. Okay, there we go. Speaking of improving the workshop, how are we doing here? Oh, screw gun. We can uh, improve the screw gun. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Why not? Okay, next job. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we, we should have time for one more here. Maybe two more, depending on how long it takes. Uh, we, rear wheels, together with axles and suspension. Yeah, I guess that screw gun's faster. Can't really tell, to be honest. Imagine if we uh, do a comparison, you know, from 1 to level 5. I'm sure we can tell the difference, but... Oh, not quite 100% on that one. So we need two rear wheels. I don't think we have enough money here. Someone just spent it all to upgrade the uh, mechanics workbench. Let's see, we're gonna need two more new rear wheels. Those aren't too expensive. They can afford those. Speaking of which, I was mentioning, can we sell? We can. I, I don't know if there's an advantage of selling these, you know, like now, or if... You know, if we just close out the order and we don't get the money from that. Don't know how that works. Seems like there's a little bit of an advantage there if you sell the parts before you finish the order. Get a little extra money that way, maybe. Okay, there we go. And that does it for that order. Okay, and there we go with that. I think we'll uh, wrap up the video here. We did jobs one through four. Uh, starting with the next one here. Looks like that one we had to probably go find, I'm assuming. Yes, is that the port and cannot move? So we'll start next episode there. We'll have to go locate that one. Uh, number six here. Oh, this one was towed to the workshop, so we don't have to find that one. The wheels are blocked and the locomotive cannot move. Find the cause of the defect. Interesting. Anyway, like I said, folks, we'll wrap up the video. You folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching and until next time.